In the 1920s, movies were an art form that had a universal appeal to all who were looking to be entertained. People all over the world enjoyed watching films, making the world a happier place to live in after the horrors of World War I. Movie theaters began popping up all over the U.S., but these theaters were very different from what we have today. Theaters in the 1920s were grand buildings, some the size of cathedrals, with marble-lined halls. People would call them picture palaces. When people walked into the theaters, there were ushers to lead them to their seats. Theaters showed movies, plays, and other forms of entertainment for people. These picture palaces also had restaurants, art galleries, and dance halls, providing many options to be entertained. They even had nurseries where parents could drop off their children while they enjoyed a movie or dinner. In cinema's earliest days, the film industry was based in the nation's theatrical center, New York, and in New Jersey. During the 1920s, movie attendance soared. By the middle of the decade, 50 million people a week went to the movies, the equivalent of half the nation's population. However, shortly after, Hollywood, California had taken over and became the world's film capital. It received 80% of the revenue from films shown abroad. The 1920s was also when the stock market crashed. However, the film theaters and studios were initially unaffected and continued making profit. The film studios that were to rule Hollywood filmmaking for the next half century were Warner Brothers, famous player Lasky, which later became known as Paramount Pictures, RKO Pictures, MGM Studios, 20th Century Fox, Universal, United Artists, and Columbia. By the end of World War I and into the 1920s, one of the most famous and loved actors by all was Sir Charlie Chaplin. He gained fame through his humor in the silent film era. A quote by Stephen M. Weissman, who read a biography of Charlie Chaplin, said, It is doubtful that any individual has ever given more entertainment, pleasure, and relief to so many human beings when they needed it the most. His most famous role was in the movie The Tramp. Here's a clip of him in his hit movie, City Lights. The most famous actress during the 1920s was the Swedish-born Greta Garbo. She was an international superstar during the late silent era and the golden age of Hollywood and is widely regarded as a cinematic legend. Also immediately, immediately with the sudden popularity of her first pictures, she became a screen icon. For most of her career, she was the highest paid actor or actress at MGM, making her for many years its biggest star. One thing that set her apart from other actors and actresses was her style of silent acting, especially her facial, facial expressions, gestures, and eye movement that really conveyed complex attitudes and feelings towards other characters. Here's a clip from her film, Anna Christie. You know what's going on as if one of you has to own me. But nobody owns me, see, except in myself. I'll do what I please, and no man, I don't give a darn who he is can tell me what to do. I am asking either of you for a living. I'll make it myself one way or another. I am my own butt. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. You and your organ. I want to be. The 1920s was also the birth of the world's most famous mouse. In 1928, Mickey Mouse was first introduced in the film Steamboat Willie. His legacy still lives on today and is one of the most loved cartoon characters of all time.